Oh, okay. what's up? How you doing? Salam, <laughs> G. What's happening, man? All good, man. Finally got you, man. I've been chasing you for the past few weeks. Oh, no, man. No, man. There's <laughs> no program on the weekend, isn't it? Go to the right of the bar. That's me, man. My parents are going to keep track of me. <laughs> Fantastic, man. Yeah, One man. welcome on Instagram Live. How are you doing? Thank you, brother, for having me. Yeah, I'm all right, man. Not bad, not bad. Do you see that? Okay, man. बस चर्दी कलर सब ठीक ठाक हो रही है और गुड मन ओह दस हाउ वी डू इट मन आई गॉट सम कुल्फियां ही एचओ ने चूज मो ये सम आइस क्रीम कॉन्स दिया यू नो राइट आई फॉर यू नो दिस पर फंकी बिकॉज़ यू हैव अ फंकी गाय इन द कैमरा राइट बंसो साहब द ग्रेट ओल्ड जग बंसो आई मीन टॉप प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ द म्यूजिक इन द म्यूजिक सीन एट द मोमेंट आई मीन यू स्टार्टेड योर करियर इन 2015 या हाउस द जर्नी बीन सो फार अम Oh, so it's been five years, man. Um, mm. A lot of, a lot of ups and downs. A lot of learning on the way. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, when I released back then, it was kind of like I didn't know the 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 business side to it. Call it the industry. Yeah. Right? So it was more like just I dropped the song and I was just like, "Well, I enjoy God." This he had a couple of gigs and stuff and didn't know Absolutely. like you know yeah you, you know there was there was no sort of plan of when to do the next and do this. It was kind of mm. just like. I was probably laid back not knowing how how the industry works. So I got yeah. a bit like for a slow ho gaya si kam so wasn't um because at that mm. time the transition happened where you know there's so many people coming out and you you know you have to yeah, be on the ball like consistency in it so that yeah, was yeah, something yeah, one of the learning um uh, things that I've learned over the over the last 5 years man. Wow. So first of all firstly you started uh, just like uh, the music banana uh, it's a passion you know let's do something but It was just more of a passion when he started, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Should we take it back then? Yeah, yeah I think let's rewind back uh, the fact to how did he get into music? I mean, what what inspired you first of all? I mean, um, what what got you into it? First of all, I know a lot of people say this like obviously, you know, you get um inspiration from your parents and literally hmm. it was from my dad because um they were in a Bhangra group uh, which was based wow. in Leamington Punjab Arts Bhangra group. So um, Oh, wow. So from like yeah from the young age they was always taking me around and then Fridays used to have their rehearsal session and um mm. Uthma Jan Dasi was back I think I started going when I was 3 or something very young and I was just oh. sit there and watch I didn't need to do anything sit there for and watch yeah. for, about, for about a year or two and then um I used to go to them to gigs and programs and then one day it was like um they used to um did that in the performance in the middle they used to have their solo And uh, this was back in the days like no music this is traditional just tall and bhangra dances you know what I mean yeah, yeah. man Oman <laughs> Hayes Oman Hayes dad was actor lead then from the Oman group Oh yes yeah absolutely yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah and then it was like when they used to do this solo performance everyone had their own little time to shine they say half of yeah. the yeah and then I just um I used to do tambourine fardasi I used to do the tambourine <laughs> and then I will forget this I'm going to do the solo as well. I'm I don't I don't fully yeah. remember it. My dad used to say and I watched it on video and um I yeah. just went in and done like I got this move that I do the spin in it. I've been I've been known for that. Oh, and I just yeah, did that yeah, yeah. and everyone was like, "Yo, what's going on here, man?" And you know, Kadi Kitani and I just like <laughs> started getting involved in the performance. And uh, oh. from then of course, man, and then I was dancing with the, the with the men's group. They had a they had a kids group as well, but I was just with the men's man, so I was always like I sit from dancing, and they used to come. People yeah. used to come to each other's houses. Or Tim F. Yeah. And you know, I used to be always around that stuff. And then obviously, so you grown like, up in an environment like that where the music yeah, always yeah. been there, you know? right from the start. Yeah. Wow. And um, how about that? I know. And um, obviously, and then like Om and Hey used to teach Tall there as well, where we used to rehearse and stuff. So um, or Tim Tall, that's it. Shongsi. I never used to play it there though. I was just, yeah. I was just watch, were dancing and listen to the Tolly and that go home. Yeah. When I got my doll from India and just used to play at home, so I was more like just like I like to learn just on my own kind of things and in that sense. And I'm I'm good at like in the music sense picking up. Yeah. So Ote obviously Tolly should have hooked up, and that was kind of self taught mm. as well. And um, wow. yeah, man. So that that was a that was a beginning, very very beginning, in sense of just music. Wow. Yeah. So Kendall and Matlaba, you've kind of imp. looking at other people performing playing music yeah. that's how it yeah. all gone started from yeah i used to wow. like the buzz that they used to you know, like show and the dancers you know the the buzz that the, the performance that we used to give i was loving it man i used to make me smile so that i was just around that and I, i'm like that as well and i like like performing or what and i'm from dancing bhavu there 
Ja, 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 Fantastic, yeah. man. I mean, you know, yeah, when man. I actually, you know, when I actually heard your music, yeah. you know, um, I was quite amazed the fact that you know you've got your own sound. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It doesn't sound like because if you've imitated someone or copied someone, it's got your own kind of creation, like even the melodies and you know the yeah. chords you play in there. Bro, well. you know it's what? That's def- different. You know? Yeah. Sorry, that was another like learning curve like, over the from five years. It's like seriously you know when they say you can never stop learning bro in music or yeah. any, any art form let's say in it you seriously can't cuz question was mnemonic cuz there was some there's always something evolving and this is just this is just from listening being open minded in the sense of listening to a lot of different genres because wow. the idea born millennia and you know you get a sense of different sound different beats everything melodies and Absolutely. the more like I'll, like the more like difficult melodies you listen to the more like you can create your own which are like become fresh then because if you do easy ones then ota simply hunda do you know what absolutely. i mean absolutely yeah 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 absolutely <laughs> i mean so i mean uh, 2015 you did hankar day smashing yeah. track hankar day yeah man god of uh, you know uk punk rock star yeah, you know did the whole band on the actual production you know yeah yeah so but talking about the brand new track man you dropped a new track yesterday yeah 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 with yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. the Yeah, yeah. Wow, get out about that. I mean, tell us a bit about, dude, about this track, man. It's, it sounds it's not, like you know, like someone you some people use that specific word. It sounds sick, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my most used word. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So tell us a bit about this track, man. So um, Dilraj Brar on the vocals, you on the music. Yeah, tell us man. a bit about this track. Um, yeah, uh, Brar Saab came. Um, I think he threw. You know, happy the two stars singer. Yeah. yeah. So he threw him got in contact, and yeah, he was wanted to do a track. I think um, he was just waiting for I think the lyrics or the right song or whatnot, and um, fear the Miligasi, mm. and then yeah, he just started. Um, he showed me the track. I was like, all right, cool, let's try it out. Give me a guide, put a little beat on yeah. it. And, well, he was he's loving it from from the start, and it sounded good. So um, yeah, see, Karthasi finished, man. It is it's good. It's good. UK, yeah, UK star Pangra, um, nice nice head bop song, man. Yeah, it's good. It's good. You know, it's good the fact that uh, the uh, that sound and that kind of production is actually coming back now because yeah. I was in conversation with uh, Sushil Dushan Dapaji a couple yeah. of months back as well. We went into the live and stuff, and he really wants to bring back the UK punk revival right back. Yeah, hundred. You know, we we're talking about the you know the the back in days. We we're talking about the bands and the live music side yeah. of things and stuff. And he actually is quite interested to bring back that you know style of music, bring yeah. that back. Of, you know the vibe what was there but you know yeah i think uh, i think it's just a matter of time man because you mm. know what it's just obviously the last couple of years the kind of scenes moved to obviously north america can it dull tim over and it's quite big there now absolutely yeah yeah but yeah. we we can't forget we had our time as well where you know this this is this is the hobby always will be you know people oh, traveled, yeah. people traveled everywhere to come here for music and i think it's just um, It's just like a, it's just like a circle, man. That India and that Canada, then UK. I think it will just come back around. I mm. mean, people will, the sounds will always change. I think, I think everyone, of course, got to get India. Have already done a lot of copying from the UK music anyway, and just kind of change. Oh, yeah. They say it's all, Absolutely. all for me. I mean, especially like of true school stuff, especially man. A lot of them are doing it now. Everything that people mm. are doing is just—it's come from here, from him, from UK already, isn't it? Oh yeah, absolutely, so no doubt. Us, yeah, yeah. Everything's here. It's just about us, especially now. This last two years, I think, a lot of there's so, UK has got the bad boy talent, man. I mean, youngsters. I mean, my age people, even younger. Oh, than me, absolutely, those absolutely. Those are the boys, man. Definitely, they, they are sick, bro. And um, one of these was supported the Lordy out there is coming, man. It's all coming together now. I think. Yeah, it's good the, to see that because right. it's good to see that because already the industry down here is quite small, even yeah. though there's. Producers here like GT, yeah. Almond Hair, yeah, the rest yeah. of the big boys as well. You know, yeah. um, the industry is still small. Yeah. So I mean, there's a hidden talent out there. Well, yeah. You know, I mean, it's the first time I've ever heard of Dilraj Bharat, and he's got a yeah. voice. He's got yeah, a voice. man. Yeah. You know? That's what I was say. I said to him after the song goes, look, now you know, get onto the, get ready for the next as well, and I keep like working. I go, you've got a great song, you've got a good voice, got everything, man. You know, you got the looks of Daria, everything, mate. Absolutely, Daria, absolutely. Was, I was amazed yeah, I mean, the fact, you know, man. because yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, to see with Daria, see with Daria, yeah, you know, yeah. it's about keeping that culture alive as well. You yeah, know, yeah, hundred percent. The roots alive as well. Hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. So, so Jags Banso, right? Yes, yes. Coventry based. Coventry, man. CV six. Coventry. I like the Matai there, though. I like the Matai in Coventry. Which one? Which shop? There's plenty. 
so many i think there's one called standard sweet side or something yeah yeah store that konne te aho they got some proper standard mathai man yeah. <laughs> <laughs> high standard <laughs> yeah standard so it's so a commentary based yes why are you a liverpool fan can you actually explain me this <laughs> yeah, i can't <laughs> Um, but you know, it was. I think um, it was more my obviously my dad and that wasn't into football. My my father and uh, my cousin was from Birmingham. Yeah. They're, they're from Birmingham. They were Liverpool from the start. So I'm like, what time are you going to start? Or I'll be a Liverpool fan. Okay. So okay. Okay. I'm like, come on, Tino, shut up, man. I need to play hockey for some time. I still love, man. Yeah. Yeah, as uh, you know, uh, at least you're playing hockey for commentary. Though. Yeah, yeah, play hockey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course, of course. I mean the sports side of uh, Jack Bunsell as well. Tell us a bit about the sports side of things. You know, you've always been into sports, so is it something what yeah, you know, man, recently I, you got into? No, I've been um hockey I started when I was 9. Mm. So, what's it, 19 years now. Um from the day I played I remember I went training. Um, my chachi took me. He just asked me randomly to come over to my house. She's like, and my cousins are going to this training session. I'll go. They, she just asked me, "Do you want to go?" I go. Yeah. See, what are we gonna do? Is we're free anyway, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I went there yeah. and I enjoyed it, man. And everyone like they could see that. Oh, the coach Hagar, I think was, you know, he's all right, man. Carry on. Yeah. And I haven't looked back since. And um, I took it. I took it very seriously. Took it far, man. I went to. I went to the Warwickshire Midlands trials. I went to England under sixteens. Wow. That was many many Wicked. years ago, but yeah, man, I went 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 took it to took it quite far, man. I was really enjoying it. So I'm and I'm still playing now. Now it's just more club level. I'm sort of a bit older now. So Not more. Come come. You're like maybe bude nii ho gaye. You're like dal ho gaye, older ho gaye. Thodi to aye ni dali chal gaye. Thodi. But I love that, man. You know what, bro? Question about sports, anything, fitness, sport has got to be done, man. I was, I, used, I was thinking, so I, I, I like to eat, man. I, I don't, you know, I'm a good, good eater and stuff. Oh and yeah, I've noticed that. I mean, I uh, you know, <laughs> on social media, we see you, you know, out and about with your mates and stuff. Know, you know, and, uh, yeah. and uh, I used to think without, if I didn't do this or didn't play football with my mates, five aside or anything, I don't, you know, I wouldn't be like slim chim. I used to, I really used to think that, man, like because. Sports, fitness, health, staying healthy, keep your mind healthy, keep your mind focused, motivated. Okay. It's all sports, fitness, man. And if push will come, that's how the mind. As long as your mindset's right, then everything else will fall into place, man. So yeah. Well, I mean, that's good to know because the the I mean, those who are watching us as well, yeah. you know, across the globe. I mean, we've got some people from India, some locally as well, in the UK as yes, well. I mean, yes. even you know, there's a lot of artists out there who actually starting from their career. They've actually pulled, you know, pushed it. The, the young generation towards sports as well, like Jazz Dummy, for example. You yeah. Know, you know, he's always pushed to you know football and everything. You yeah, know, yeah. I think he's involved in some. Stuff, you know. Yeah, he's involved in some things which helps for the youngsters yeah. to get in. Yeah, which is great, man. We can yeah, need definitely more, especially for Upne. We need especially Absolutely. in the football side. Definitely could do with more, man. I mean, you know what it is. Uh, one thing as well. I mean, there's. I mean, it might be different for many other people as well. But sometimes it, it's all down to where which direction the elders want to take their kids. You know, mm. so sometimes you know that comes a bit of a barrier. That's sometimes massive. where they want, you know, a big barrier yeah. in our community and stuff. You know, that was a uh, yeah. That was like say like um, to the man music should look at that see, and then obviously I was telling my mom and dad like you're on proper serious about it, innit? And they was yeah. like, "Shall I?" You know, there wasn't too wasn't too keen, or you know, wasn't too sure. But until I started doing it, and then then they started when I started doing more songs and working even harder, and, and you know, started seeing stuff in it, stuff happening, and yeah, 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 projects yeah, yeah, coming absolutely. and stuff here or another. Yeah. That's when that's when the push came. You know, when I, my dad pushes me madly now, man. Wow. You know what I mean? So I think it's just sometimes it's a case of just. You know, you're out, obviously out as your out as parents, whoever you, you know, whoever's looking after you, want the best of you. Naturally, they should anyway. Want the best. Absolutely. So Absolutely. they just, I think, sometimes they need to just kind of see something that makes them sure, like, okay, you know, he's he knows, you know, what he wants, so he's in the right direction, or he's got that, yeah, he's yeah. got got that, you know, in, inside and that fire to do something. So I think they need to just once they see that, then of course they'll be supportive, man. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's just one of them things where it's, I mean, sometimes where it happens that they don't really know the um, the beneficial side of things of that's music it, that's because it, some people yeah. say, "Yeah, the kid can manage it." Yeah, you know, they, yeah, you know, they actually yeah. look at that kind of that sort of vision. The fact yeah. that music is something 
ਸਾਡੇ ਬਸ ਦਾ ਕੰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਸਹੀ ਗੱਲ ਸਹੀ ਗੱਲ ਯਾ 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 ਨੋ ਸੋ ਯੇ ਮਨ ਸੋ ਅਚਾ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਦੋਸ ਹੂ ਵਾਚ ਮੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਥਿਸ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊ ਬਾਏ ਮੈਂ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊਸ ਆਈ ਡੂ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਇਟ ਆਈ ਡੂ ਇਨ ਅ ਵੇ ਐਸ ਇਫ ਲਾਈਕ ਇਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਮੈਟਰਮੋਨੀਅਲ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਟੂ ਨੋ ਯੂ ਮੋਰ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਦੋਸ ਹੂ ਵਾਚ ਮੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਥੀ ਗਾਇਸ ਥੇਰ ਰਾਈਟ ਇਨ ਫਰੰਟ ਆਫ ਯੂ so anyone interested you know the feels on the book bro look i'm i'm taken bro look man never have ah they call it kind of jolly buddy i right we got a big teddy there right he's done man we don't That's need anything to stay here now he's gone mean, out of the way <laughs> right those who are watching us right i think we'll give a couple of a shout outs i think bonsal sabo me got raj paul from the uk he's uh, got to track as well uh wala kamal da go atul sharma from delhi i mean uh, bansal sahab i mean Six. atul sharma is not a lad yeah uh, he's actually a die hard fan of jazzy b what well, okay uh, and he's uh, one of those kids uh, who's uh, actually got a tattoo made of jazzy b on his arm oh, as well so he's proper crazy crazy fan of his from india wow wow well. that's my so, that's yeah. levels man that's levels that's level that's <laughs> just <laughs> next level that completely once you got a tattoo right that's just <laughs> Oh, I'm going to put the tattoo on this kutta here, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. She's going to say, she's going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> right, but, I mean, Bansal, I'm going to ask you, right? The humor side of Jack Bansal, I mean, you know, you come across a very friendly and humorous person. Yes. Tell us a bit about one of your most funniest moments. I mean, you've done music videos in the past, you know, when you've gone out there shooting on location and stuff. the funniest blunders ever in your music videos i mean Flip, tell us about that flipping all um funniest a funny do 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 i'll have to think of it bro i can't think <laughs> you have to think we we'll have to come back on that with it let me think let me think what it is man <laughs> i'm trying to go for the videos now isn't it what was sticking out yeah <laughs> oh man Let me have a think bro let me have a think coach no coach yeah I'm yeah we'll have a think for that one 100%. so uh, yeah <laughs> so you did hard cut the back in 2015 you know yeah. and uh, you've dropped one in September which was a different like a reproduction of it on the re bump yeah. of the whole track yeah that sound is sick though yeah yeah same one completely different Respect. different side of it you know a complete different style of vibe i mean it had a good beat to it yeah Tell us a bit about what what sort of music are you listening now? I mean, putting your music aside, I mean, who who are you following as an individual? I mean, at this present point on music. Oh, well, just like the last couple of days, I've been listening to Notorious B.I.G. No, oh. um, just um, I, I've just I'm just working on some stuff with uh, with Happy, and um, we're just chatting mm. and stuff. So I'm just going through ideas, listening, but generally. I listen to I listen to a lot of podcasts more than more than music in the sense of yeah. from, from driving. But what I'm listening to mm. now I've, I've been listening to Notorious BIG. And wow. um I listen to a guy that I've followed from the start. This this guy yeah bro. Um his name's Ryan Leslie, yeah. Um, oh yes, Ryan he, Leslie I've heard yeah, of him. Bro from America and when like I mean th- this was before I released in 2015. This guy, I don't I don't know where I come across this guy. He's on YouTube and oh he was in his apartment he had a little apartment at the studio he and he would make everything himself he would pay the keyboard he pay guitar he'll have a he'll have a copper coins and he'll make a shaker sound record it all wow and he was he was you know um getting footage of all of that and I followed all his videos since then and he, that giza that guy was just amazing so talented and he plays everything a lot of instruments himself and i used to watch him make songs yeah. and that guy is what i listen to on a regular right now and again just go back to his old youtube videos and songs i think you know what it is uh, jag i mean it's all coming down to creativity and innovation yeah. because yeah. Uh, you know if we wanted to we could replace a metal bin yeah against a doll and you and you say that of course mm-hmm. You know, there's some people out there who actually, I mean, I'm watching this, uh, um, I came across this video clip in, on Facebook, and it was a, a black guy from mm. America, he, he's on the street, like mm. one of the street musicians you can see, you know, we come across people down here as well, play guitars and this and that. Yeah. He sat there, and he's playing music using jars. 
Oh, well, yeah. He's yeah, got yeah, water yeah, yeah. filled in jars. And he's just playing with the sticks. And it's he's it's doing amazing. a Merry Christmas melody. Yes. And it's like drinking water and a jar and a pair of sticks. Amazing. What it creates in it, the sound it creates. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's just so it's all it's, about it's creative. All this, it? That's know. it, bro. It's just this health. You know, you've got to think, think kind of ahead, but kind of think like there's more to it. You know, don't be like mm. locked into like a little box or to say you're, you know, I think, I think, I think a lot of people kind of listen to other, other people and then kind of think, oh, I want it like this. Mm. And then they, then they're automatically stuck in that box. Like, okay, I, I want it like that. So that's, that's my creativity is not going to go there. It's going to stay there because I want it like that. Absolutely. You get me? How much of a perfectionist are you, Jag? I mean, when it comes down to producing your own music, I mean, I th what's the first thing you look in your head? What's the first thing that comes in your mind when you start a project? The first thing, so most of the time, I look at it. <laughs> My little niece in it. <laughs> um, <laughs> in, you mean uh, um, starting a song or finish or what? Do I yeah, like for, example, when, uh, like for example, when a pair of lyrics come to you, yeah. you have a read through, you start with the artist. When yeah. it comes down to you know, production work, the yeah. music side of things. What's the first thing what clicks in your mind? First thing is obviously, obviously the lyrics, obviously what, what the song's about mm. what not. Mm. Um, yeah. Or die, um, and just like a lot of the composition, I try recently now anyway, the, me the melody, the composition, um, to yeah. try and, you know, make, see what it's like, but try and make, try and, if I'm sitting with a singer, I'd try and, you know, um, just try something different. Try and go off this the norm of a normal melody or a or a or a copy yeah. melody and stuff like that. Um, mm. feel all set I like to I like to not uh, what I've learned over the years is try and get my beats beats done first. Remember kick yeah, yeah. So I try and get trying to I'm trying to get them tight as possible. Now I've learned that a lot, so I'm doing a lot of that. A lot of a lot of work on it now because during mm. this lockdown, bro. Sorry, uh, sorry if I cut you off. Um, during this uh, lockdown, fear because I was um, off from March, not the bit last year, I was at home. And yeah. from that day, when the, the lockdown started, I I took my, I thought, well, let's make make most of this time, innit? I took yeah. my time out to try and learn, you know, the art of like mixing or, you know, finalizing a track, if, if anyone doesn't know this. Mm -hmm. mix, not everyone knows the mixing, mastering side or, you know, how yeah. to finalize a song or what a song is like before and what it turns into once it's engineered. And I have a time, I have a lot of work. So I took my um, um, my time out for that during lockdown to try and at least learn some, learn something, you know, trying to learn a little bit at least so I know, you know, to, I'm, I'm bettering myself. You know what I mean? Mm. So um, that's kind of like really helped me in the sense of that's what's made me realise or made me help me like, okay, I need to make sure this is tight or let me focus on my drums, make sure they're like, you know, they're kicking it, they're popping. If, if kicking, I can't, yeah, if I yeah, can't yeah, feel yeah, it, how is, how is other bundle or uh, other person going to feed it? How are they going to feed it? You know what I mean? I need to feed it first. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that, that definitely Absolutely. go for the, with the drums, make sure the compositions and uh, looks are, are banging, man. Well, I mean, like you mentioned the lockdown, I mean, I've come across many other producers as well. I mean, yeah. it's kind of actually worked out for many people yeah, yeah. Uh, in the music industry where they've got a bit more time to spend on their production work yeah. and their music work and, you know, yeah, um, I agree, yeah, so it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's helped quite a lot of people, you know, yeah. like in the scene. Um, so Jag Bansal, I've got some set of uh, interesting uh, questions for you. What <laughs> are I, I won't put you in a situation <laughs> like so that, good, you know. Man, so good. <laughs> 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 I'm so good. 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 I'm so Right. right. So, right. So, first question. Hanji. Uh, your dream destination when it comes down to holidays, because we see you uh, in videos where you're exploring places and, you know, in the Hanukkah, the second version of that as well, yeah. you're camping with your friends and having, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, a box of Pringles and, yeah. you know, Volvic <laughs> water That's as it. well. So, Just dream fine. destination. <laughs> dream destination. And probably... Miami, Vegas, I think. Yeah, in Miami. Yeah, yeah. I like to. I like to. I think I've just seen it too much in films, man. And then I'm like, I want to go there. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think you know, it's kind of a, one of those locations where it actually looks quite good in camera as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, with so, the palm trees. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, man. Yeah, 
absolutely. You're a bit of a palm tree guy. Yeah. I've noticed that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I should add oh, that to the okay. studio, man, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that'd be good, actually. More yeah. of a, a beachy kind of environment in your studio. I mean, oh, I've many the, artists I've got will. The blow just... one anyway, the palm tree. Yeah, I mean, many artists will come with their deck chairs and just sit there all day. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you feel the whole environment. <laughs> you know what, bro? Uh, just, just you saying that. Sorry, man. Um, yeah. Sometimes, like, it, it, it's sometimes good to you need you need some sort of environment. Sometimes you oh, can't. Yeah. Like, I've had times where I've I've just taken you know my laptop and just moved to the dining table. That's it. Got my thought. I got my headphones. Yeah. Just because I was like, okay, it's, it's not happening today, or just these couple of hours, I need to just get moved to a different yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. You need you need to move space now and again, man, just to keep that keep it fresh, to keep the mind keep fresh. it fresh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or, or ground everywhere, and, you know, man. Well, yeah, but I can't say that because yeah, yeah. sometimes even even you know when I I spoke to uh, the songwriter hmm. uh, a couple of weeks ago and uh, I was, I asked him just a random question. I said, "Buddy, hey, you know, tell us a bit about your mood, right? You know, yeah. like around there. Yeah, is there a specific place you want to sit and write it? Like, mm-hmm. I said, yeah, the matter can be like something. He said, he he said currently I'm sat in the car. Yeah, to me, can't you like yeah, yeah." And I'm just writing a song out here. Now I'm not in a gallery, you know. I'm yeah. writing a track as well. It's crazy. You know, so man, yeah. some people say we don't really need a specific art because you would invite. You know, when you visualize songwriters, you always yeah. have this kind of vision where he's sat there in the dark. Yeah, I know, I know. What right, you mean. he's got a lantern on the side of his table. You know, pop a shiny while going to hold it on Right, you would always think that you know, Monday the show, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would imagine that, you know. know. But it comes out to be that writing is like just imagine writing, you know. That's it. You know what, bro? Most of the things like they kind of happen by accident, in it and naturally. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some people need that. Um, you know, they got that set routine. Like, they need to be in a certain place to get their mind yeah. focused. But like Absolutely. some people, like I've got a song. Um, it's like a duet song with um, uh, Major Man and Sudesh Kumari. And that oh, wow. I was doing a couple of years ago, as in the vocals. Mm, and yeah. that that idea came with I was going to from Coventry to Leamington with Major in the car. He was driving. I think we were going to just some band rehearsals or something. And I just had the I just had the idea of these two words, um, which I'm going to say yet, yeah, but I want to say. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'll probably Con- message it. Confidential. Yeah. Confidential. And I just had these, <laughs> had these two words that was stuck in my head. I was like, look, bro. I need a song, man. Just like do something like with these two words, make something. Yeah, with the words, yeah, yeah. And obviously, from here to Leamington, um, even like the fifteen twenty minutes, bro, the whole yeah. song was written. And it, it wasn't even. Yeah. We didn't, I didn't even say look, it should be a duet or it just should be this that from a girl's perspective or a boy's nothing. It naturally just come as a duet. And in that car journey, he's driving. He's car journey, wow. wrote it, singing, melody done, done. You know what I mean? That wow. those kind, those kind of. Um, it was you know you don't, you didn't plan it. It just happened. It just happened. Yeah, man. Wow. And, it, and, it, and those, those, those are the best ones, bro. They're the best ones. And hopefully, the song will do that justice, man. It's a uh, looking forward to that song. Looking man, yeah. forward. You know, it's been a while since we've uh, heard a decent uh, a duet track. Duet, man. This, this, yeah, yeah, this is a wild. proper UK fast ninety six BPM doll um, dance floor track, man. I, well, I hope it is anyway, but I think it yeah, is awesome. anyway. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Solid. Yeah. Solid. 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 Now I've got another question for you. Hanji. Uh the first time when you went to India, how was your experience? <laughs> the f- first can't, time can't in your remember. life when you visited India. I can't remember, but what I can tell you, um I went um I went after 12 years 2 years ago. I mm. had a, I had a, I had a death in the family my mom's um, dad oh, so okay. I, well, and well. Uh, I've always wanted to go but got the time ni mila or this that you know excuses or whatnot. and I went after 12 years and bro I I loved it I absolutely loved it man I started off like obviously the first week was tough and stuff um, but we had yeah. a, an extra week though then we got see and uh, to Punjab see it and uh, I come in mm. like, like Nike Adidas shorts t-shirt you know cap on everything 
and then yeah, like, yeah, yeah. a couple of days after my dark kurta pajama pag bani i'm on mom like man how's anyone going to know like you're from out of out of here everyone thinks you're from yeah, here yeah 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 but like i got like, to it so well like, I, i love that i love that living man that pureness and just i love it man so the punjab yeah. is just next level bro i can't explain man serious absolutely you can't amazing bro. amazing can't i love it especially bro. living in the paint man at least especially oh, man. in the paint bro like yeah. living that kind of in the countryside uh-huh. farming side of things proper you can't go proper wrong with that experience hoy see man proper like and you wow. know i used to go with the rickshaw as a taxi i used to like i used to chat to them i used to get them on my snapchat gala gala yeah. that you know what i mean i used to do all that man and, uh, <laughs> it, it was jokes man so i had a i had a great experience man wow i yeah. mean you know that experience uh, is uh, is different because for us i mean when we uk born and bred i mean we travel to india hmm. it's, it's something different for us in yeah. different yeah. environment and the whole the whole moment there mm-hmm. i mean i kind of noticed that in your track uh, uk the monday i mean you yeah. dressed up in a proper checkered one yeah. well, now you oh, know like no, proper dressy stuff even I mean, my, I, had, I had my nike chapla on though oh yeah you can't <laughs> go wrong with the branded chapla man yeah. honestly nike bro i want to i want to like i want to I wanted to go this year to uh, India hmm. uh, and I was yeah. I was looking to do a video for a song um but obviously yeah. all this stuff happened so I didn't I didn't attempt to work on a song that could do with, around India but I want to want to I definitely yeah. want to try and go after I went after 12 years I goes to my mom you know what we'll go every year or every other year at least you know what I mean I I, mm-hmm. I, I didn't want to I didn't want to not go anymore man like, I missed Bharasal I missed out you know what I mean not knowing how it feel like yeah, yeah, there, yeah. you know what I mean Well, I mean, you know, to be honest, right, it's just that thing, you know, sometimes you get stuck with your work, stuck with whatever you're doing, oh, job, yeah. whatever, you know. I know, I know. But not restricted on that, you know. But I had time and come all this either. pandemic. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, with all this pandemic as well, that a bit of that fear is coming people as well from probably. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, big time, man. People are, you know, some are not as fair, some are of naturally, bro, naturally, man. It, it's going to happen and it's and it's not yeah. going to it's not going to end anytime soon you know you go out and about maybe in a year's time look yeah you know you do a cough or you know you sneeze and that in the shopping center you know people oh, are yeah. you, people are going to give you the looks man you know what i mean oh and, yeah well straight away they're going to say oh god oh yeah they straight away going to start thinking that oh god he's got a bat yeah, in his pocket you know? yeah oh, no. oh he's carrying a bat in his pocket you know <laughs> see <laughs> <laughs> you know that's what's going on It, right man. if you're holding a cup in your hand it's got a lid on it people are going to think he's got bat soup in his hand that's it man it calls the bat yeah bus pong up there you know once it comes open right things are going to go wrong so yeah that's right like, that's definitely man definitely had an effect on uh, people man absolutely absolutely it has um i've got a very interesting question now it's a sorry interesting a sirf ek anda hona is a tricky one and is that the killer No, no, no. This is this is a tricky one now, right? Mm-hmm. I ask this to every music producer, right? right? Yeah. Do you have a dream working with a certain vocalist in the industry that you always wanted to work with on a song? Uh, when I when I first when I was getting into music, and I was I remember when um, when Jazz Dami came onto the scene. Mm. and like obviously I used to go to his gigs and Otte Ball like he used to do a lot of live live band stuff in it yeah, and I was yeah, amazed yeah. at his voice bro I was amazed wow. and then I used to like uh, all the interviews on again what he went what he done and stuff I was like yo this guy's has done it man he's he's done it like from he's gone all the way to India and so he stayed there you know what I mean he's Absolutely. killed it bro he's killed it and his voice amazed me and I always because I knew because as his songs went on he was very er- experimental he's very you know which, yeah, which yeah, i yeah. feel like Absolutely. i am now like you know to do different kind of things or different beats music whatever and uh, mm. he's uh, he's definitely up there man as would like to man uh, work with man definitely that would be interesting for yeah, that man. actually happen because you know just on me himself you know he's uh, quite of a uh, inspiring person because yeah, when man. it comes down to the music side of things the guy yeah. is proper got classical yeah he knows training his stuff, you know man yeah he knows it fully man so you know he he wow. wicked just cuz an interesting name you picked there yeah no, no, i could have picked anyone i could have picked deljit well yeah i mean right. deljit do sound you are me go anyone obviously that that would be another one there's there's a few man but i just remember this because i remember when he came on the scene and and what i what i was feeling when i used to i used to watch him you know i used to watch his youtube live over again bro I used to when he used to sing buddy there hogi man he used to sing it on live oh, live yeah. band bro oh yeah 
bro. He had wow. the way he done it. I used to do it on repeat, and that's what I'm saying. That's why I went with him today. Maybe tomorrow it might have been someone else, but today, yeah, just army man. It'd be it'd be a sick life, man. I think, yeah. Guy. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, even uh, there's a few people who are watching us. I mean, uh, Rush Frantic uh, joined as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. In He's a fan of Jazz Dummy. He likes the Rosemilius uh, track. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. One. He's a wicked. solid tune. Wicked. Wicked. Confronted. Oh, yeah. Confronted. Top, mate. Top. Absolutely. So, Bounce of Salt. Respects for your time, man. Big up. Yeah, yeah any time. Nah, 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 nah. You know, like, you know, I haven't been that uh, after Godas, man, compared to how much time I've been running after you to get on the Instagram live. <laughs> Listen, Godas, man's been chasing me as well, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> because you couldn't really talk in the town, I would say. Because, you know, I always, you know, whenever you put any post on Facebook, right, yeah. I can't help it. I've just pressed the like button or the love yeah. uh, emoji because nah, you the know, content bro, you also, post, man, honestly, yeah. My you, you, support me, you support me massively, man. I respect that, man. You check my stuff out. You, you honestly, you know, give your reviews and I re really appreciate that. You, you push a lot of UK, uh, our UK youngsters, man, a lot of people that I know, my boys and stuff, man, so it's wicked. Thank you, man. Well, man people, like, there's only a handful of people here, man. Handful yeah. of people left. Nah, that's, bro, completely that's, finished. I, I always say, bro, after after a, a song release or something, man, the, the what I look at is like like feedback, like comments, just like telling me and, and the shares and stuff. All here, that 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 more than anything, bro, just makes me like, oh, you're sick, man. Actually, someone people are liking it. Oh, this is this is alright, you know, actually. It's that share, it's that comment, just like even an emoji, anything, bro. Or, or I like that, you that's know, I'll man. tell you one thing, right? I'll tell you one thing. I was in chats with um, Popsy. Yeah, yeah. A uh, couple of uh, weeks ago. And we were oh, talking yeah, about man. albums. Yeah. You know, back in the days, the album on the NC yeah. used to be record sales. Done. That's when you used to find out if the albums are full on hit oh, or not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? I think this day and age, I think uh, emojis and comments and feedback is, a, is a, the key to find out that your track is successful. Yeah. You know, I think uh, because uh, whatever, I mean, to be honest, nowadays, well, it's been going on for so many years, piracy, I mean, it's kind of affected mm. heavily. Killer, the killer. Music industry. I'll get, killer, bro, you know? I'll get, I'll get people like, people legit just like screenshot your song and you can see it's from djjarter.com or whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or you exactly. have my Instagram to park it, tag me in it and that. And you're just blatantly <laughs> there, you know what I mean? Like, come on, bro, man. At least, like, do it on the sly, innit? Like, scribble it out. Oh, man. You know, but, I mean? uh, you know sometimes you don't realise that. Even, even you, know, you know, I'll tell you one thing, right? I come across some people like that where they don't even actually edit the, the name yeah. or the website what's behind the actual track, mm -hmm. you know, in the actual MP3. Mm -hmm. And they let it go as DJ Johan or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the popular one now. Joel. Yeah, that was a popular one. You know, no matter how much I am, I did not know how to download it. You can't do That's it, man. Trust me, man. <laughs> oh, man. How, how's your lockdown, Ben? You've been alright? Lockdown, yeah, it's been alright. I mean, to be honest, in March... Uh, most yeah. of the time just doing you know work from home most of the time just going on the evening yeah. to do a bit of print work in the office and stuff yeah. and uh, now it's just being like to be honest right those who are watching us as well yeah are changing the channels over yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so you just have to grab your That's laptop it. and just sit all day on the laptop all day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're always pressing that blue button and playing, pressing the select button. Yeah, and you're changing yeah, yeah. channels all day constantly. No, no, you're thinking, man. where the hell have I come now? No, you know. No, no. So, I know that yeah, man. There's a lot of, um, I know there's a lot of stuff about mental health going along during this lockdown, especially. Oh, yes, heavily, heavily. I mean, like, it's. Um, um, it's crazy, man. Because especially for men, in it, us men, I think a lot of a lot of stuff was coming out, and like a lot of stuff was coming out for for me to realize, like, oh, mm. did, did, I think a lot went through something like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, you sometimes go through things, but you don't know what it is because it's not been. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't actually figure anything. out what it is. Yeah, yeah. So yeah the yeah, more absolutely. people were speaking, I used to listen to a lot of podcasts, uh, listen to Harp's Core and everything, man, and they were talking about yeah, their stuff. Man. And Joe Oken this he and I was thinking, 
Yo, I, I remember this. I was going for like a stage like this. Was that what it was? Is that what I'm feeling now? And this, that, you know. Yeah. All I want to say, man, like if anyone, like whoever's listening or whatnot, man, anyone could like give me a drop, me a message or anything, you know what I mean? Or or anyone they want to just just say it, man. If you've got anything to talk about, be open. If you can't be open with your with your boys or your you know your uh, friends or your family or whatnot, then fair luck you on it. And you know you can't Absolutely. keep stuff in, man. Absolutely. So just, uh, just one point, man. Just from lockdown. Again, another little learning uh, thing I learned, man. So yeah. Definitely, man. Chiara, absolutely, man. Respects. Yeah, absolutely. It's just one of those uh, years which uh, we didn't even actually accept, expect yeah. that this is what is going to happen in 2020. It's, it's and the mad. entire year's gone like this. It's mad. I'll, yeah, I'll, it's been a mad year. I'll, I was planning uh, in April, I think, I was planning a little EP, did that chart track, the half album. And then yeah. this happened. Then it was like, did that time me? I did that like, not in the sense that oh, I, I didn't worry about, oh, it's not time for like, you know, or gigs or club gigs, or it wasn't nothing like that. Yeah, it was yeah, more the yeah, same. Yeah. Everyone's mood, or so I didn't, you know, everyone was down, man. Absolutely, the start, absolutely. It was, it was down, a sad, yeah, sad yeah. time, and it still is. Oh, and yeah, then yeah, I, absolutely. I, yeah, I scrapped that and I waited a bit, and then I did like an instrumental to the chart tracks, and I, I, I posted that out with a uh, simply Pongra. Well, Tim oh. does he just follow like anyone that you know what, there's four tracks, instrumentals for singers, rappers, even producers, if you want to collab, I put that out there and uh, yeah, I got some wicked feedback from that as well, man. So wow. it was a really, yeah, good, really good. Fantastic, man. Yeah, Respects, man. Uh, Jack Bunso. I mean, uh, for your time, I mean, I hope you very best for further trucks. Hello, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to Do some live session. I have some two sing over his Vajja as well one day. Hey, right, Changim uh, Santu Singh. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. had the he had his vajja uh, on the side of him. I mean, kafi ek do gazla ga yezi na ne mehfil banana si puri. Wicked man, yeah. wicked. So I, uh, I, lo- I yeah, love man. vajja. I love the vajja, man. I vajja the the kadi where I'm actually a crazy uh, fan of your vajja, man. The the, oh. the technique and style you play, my yeah. eye and that. You know, you know what? Hag haga da panch mein hagi. As in pro- production wise when I was when I was mm-hmm. starting because um when it was in school time, secondary school, and sorry the people were following the DJ trend or the mixes. I wanted to make mixes. So a lot of the boys yeah. that I knew were doing that stuff, innit? And my demark was like Mm, okay, cool. I was like, how do you, how do you create this, man? It could not, like this is coming from someone. Imagine a book for dummies in it, how to make music or book. Wow. Really. Well, I mean, from yeah, scratch, yeah, yeah. like yo, how how do you make this in it? Where's it where did it come from? And uh, and then that's what I wanted to do. And I used to go like, I think I went on like on the computer back in the Windows XP. I went on download.com. I yeah, put my download card. Yeah. I see the first music software. I think it's FL Studio, and then. Um, and then I was like, I used to go, I had the iTunes uh, music player thing. And I used to mess yeah. around with the EQs. The EQ, the equalizer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to think, like, yo, how, we, how come I'm not hearing just at all? Why am I hearing like some shit? Like, you know, I didn't know what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what hi-hat or snare, all this, all this was, man. I used, to mess, <laughs> I used to mess around with that stuff, man. And um, holy, holy, just learning like that. And uh, yeah. I remember once, bro. I was uh, I rec- I didn't know how the tool sounded like it did on a track. I got a pen, yeah, bro, and I got I was on my table and I just recorded through the computer, <laughs> thinking that it sounds like this. It must be done like this. <laughs> that's how, bro. That's how it was, man. I swear to you, I swear to you. Oh wow! So, I mean, and and then I I started uh, I, was, I was doing it. So I started that. I started messing about or whatnot. Holy, holy, just messing, just just being on it, just 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 doing stuff, learning, learning, learning. And minus what Jeff here. I need to I need, I need to know I think as a producer nowadays people have music direct, uh, director and a producer you know two different definitions and they you know whatever whatever but in my eyes yeah a producer you, you should know keys and you should know how to you know you, if you're going to guide a singer or you need to know what key he's singing in you need to play oh chords, yeah absolutely no doubt oh yeah and oh yeah film of our judge okay on it and uh, um, I, I used to just play songs and I used to, I, I was touch wood yeah I was just blessed in a sense that I used to pick it up and be able to play so whatever tune was playing I was good at picking up by ear so I couldn't do wow. all the notes or whatnot and that 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 helped me but that that took me past step one so, excuse me you know what I mean it made me 
So, so the vajra is a self-taught thing you've done. Yes, I but I took I it further a bit because I did kirtan as well. So on my time, that's why I go to Fridays and stuff. I used to learn, learn a few sargums. Because I wanted to, be, I wanted to be a singer, fan lover as well. I forgot about that, man. See, I got, I got. Yeah, that would be interesting to see you though singing. You know, it'd be interesting to see you singing though. Uh, I, I did it on the, uh, um, the one of the kind one. I did just the, just the hook bit. I did it there a little bit. Um, I was like, yo, I want to be a, I want to be a singer, man. I want this and that. Mm-hmm. And then it was, I, I then I just got off it, and I was, I fell in love with the music side and <clears throat> Punjabi, you know what I mean, and. Uh, ਪੰਜਾਬੀਆਂ <laughs> So I thought, oh, oh, yeah, man, I mean, you're, you're, I can't say this right, those are watching us. I would cross you as a very inspirational person here because the, coming across where you're self-taught, you took your time out, you took that passion mm. and interest of actually trying out things and actually yeah, yeah. doing it. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, you know, like, you know, yeah, the yeah. improvisation and how soft, man, respects. So no, that's why uh, you know that is pretty big uh, because the vajra in general is not uh, an instrument that you know uh, it's easy to actually pick no up chance, straight away man. no chance the key, man he's the like the, the whole melody just thinking up to see but i am even still learning you know, bro, like you know chords like the chord structures and that is it is endless man it's endless it's, it's endless. wicked wicked man wicked And I think I would say that the key to actually uh, start your journey as a music is you can't go wrong as a good in a good order. Oh, I mean, of course, man, of course. that's where it all starts from. I mean, when you look at the Gitan, oh, the Rangi yes. things as well. I mean, well, you can't go wrong the way they play Vajji, man. Yeah, and how they they sing the Rags, they sing, they, they're, not, they're not just singing on like three keys or, you know, two keys, three keys, nothing like that. They're going for Absolutely. the full Rag, man. They're going up. Oh, they're yeah. Still, they're coming back down, you know what I mean? So, a lot a lot is learned there man a lot okay. oh, I mean, a lot of artists of uh, from what interviews i've heard I've, I've, i've definitely started that's been their start point man oh yeah that's where the start I mean? points happen yeah. yeah 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 so, so we've been there yeah it's sick man wicked yeah wicked, man the kahaniyan that you've seen life di hain zindagi well i uh, well from since childhood i mean the tabla tola control shabash you know Shabash. I'm more into tabla, I would say. I'll be honest with you. Tabla is uh, my uh, favorite instrument. I've always... Because uh, uh, even the music side, I mean, you can see Ulta in my interview. Ah, oh, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd switch it, bro. Uh, I did so a nice idea. idea as well. Yeah, that was good, oh, that. That's good. That was a good twist in the conversation yeah. now. <laughs> But yeah, man, the music's always been there. I mean, since childhood. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, it started off tabla, watching, you know, like you started with Keith and yeah. everything I used to watch it back in the days used to be VHS cassettes oh wow well, yeah uh oh. used to buy T series ones and stuff on Keith and they can you know watch all the raggy things about yeah, yeah, yeah. love you know and uh, grown up you know from that side uh, music uh, then uh, radio came out of nowhere I'm telling you presenting on the radio that was like proper coincident like kind of thing it, it wasn't really planned kisne yeah. mainu keh ta ya teri awaaz badhiya you know wow. why don't you uh, give it a try Chalo, i tried it and yeah. i actually liked it i uh-huh. actually enjoyed it and stuff yeah yeah you know it came, became a bit of a passion you know and everything when the, when the lockdown happened mm-hmm. i haven't been since you know i've been in uh, just busy with work and yeah, you know, pending yeah, work office work and stuff of course so jay yaar instagram live na kariye yaar gal baat i mean that's the way forward oh, all, you know when it comes down to the uh, generation now yeah and we're living in a digital world i'm thinking yaar ghar bhi baith ke ki karna ho sahi gal sahi gal that's plan a lockdown show called yeah. transsetters yeah on a saturday or sunday on the availability of any artist yeah man and just make it happen man since then uh, since uh, march on who, who was your uh, first been doing instagram i was quite lucky we started off with sukhinder shinda yeah i seen that yeah started off with sukhinder shinda yeah you go man <laughs> Yeah, right, it's like with him. Don, that's it, that's he's it. A, he's, I a, mean, he's a idol, man, him. And I'm an idol, idol big idol time. Idol, bro, man. Big. Too much, man, next level, man. He's next yeah. level, bro. 
I'll tell you one thing. The one thing I love about Sakinda Shinda is, right, he's never had that ego in him. Never, bro. Never. I'm... I mean, till now, when you ask him, right, to speak to him on the phone. Yeah. Any track he comes out, he just sends it to me on WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he actually calls me Gurmukh Singh. Gurmukh Singh. Right? Yeah, I'm not Gurmukh Singh, you're right? He's a Gurmukh Singh. Mm. I said he's fantastic as always. Mm-hmm. He doesn't say thank you or, you know, I'm the best or whatever. Yeah. He always says, time pass he got. Yeah. No, bro. Right? So he's a kind of a person that he doesn't call himself a genius or yeah. a master. But you know right? what? He still considers himself <laughs> that I'm learning. Yeah. <laughs> But bro, I met likewise. I met him many times, yeah, and hmm. he is just like he's just happy. He's, he's the most humble guy, I think, in the industry, oh. man. And he's yeah, the bro. most smartest geezer going, man. Simple as that. They could you the you smart, smartest sadar around. That's right, it, mate. That is right. It. Can't go wrong with the pug style. Oh, the, yeah. You know the whole fashion trend, the oh, whole style. It's oh, unique. Oh yeah, hundred percent. He's done it from the from day man, from the start. So they both follow on this. He when him him and Jazzy B together, your people used to follow that dress sense, everything. Absolutely, absolutely. They could you see the notice kita to see you kafi tall short card thing, especially in the front cover of UK the Monday. I just tore a dia. Hi hi. Pull the ad. Pure footballer, pure footballer. Jada na proper goal kitchi ke man. Allah da tuhiya. Yeah, man. So, yeah. Ji, I mean, apne andaz now, right? We've had so many people watching us. Apne andaz now, go through the list and give some shout outs to your uh, followers and viewers. Yeah, right? Apne yeah, andaz now. Yeah. Well, how far do I scroll, man? There are some. Half way. Half way. Uh, Sunday, Lucky, Dilpreet, Balu, Dandu, Amo, mm. Jasu, Sam. Hops, Aaron, Rita, Anil, Jinder, History of the Khans, Big Up. Wow, Balay of the Khano. Maybe so. Kiran, Anand B, what's up, bro? Another talented guy, man. Ronnie, yes. Chaz, Arminda, Raul, Raul, Ivory Keys, wow, Ustad, mate, Ustad. <laughs> up and on takes H work. Deep Kedaji, JST Fitness, you know, Jagpal, Shati. Wow. Opi. Yeah, Bapa. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to bleed. Sorry, bro. I'm going through. I'm trying to do it quick, though. Pritpal, Ash, DJ Vic, Manoj, Jazzy Birdie, Partner, Wogwan, Karan, Apri, Mindy, Karan, Naf, yes, Naf, Raj, Raju, Sun. In the full day, I was up. Jazz artist band was up. Big up, man. Do you just see Hans G mm. J Deep Jan Du H Wagwan Jazz Sunny Powen? What's up, man? Miss Cool Undercover Records, man. Wicked where I started, man. Respect. You know, I'll tell you one thing, Jag, right? I met, yeah. Yeah, you know, Palmy Panessa, right? Um, I met him with a coincidence. Yeah. I actually met him in a very, very coincidence way, right? Honey. What happened, right? I've got this client uh, yeah. down in Leeds. And uh, she's into, like, uh, wedding events and management and all that, right? Yeah. And Palmy Panissa came with her, right, in the office. Acha. At that point onwards, right, it just felt like as if we've met each other, like, we haven't, like, we've known each other for years. Yeah. Right, and since then, he's always in touch and everything. Yeah, likewise. And, he's, uh, he's, uh, yeah, man. man. I think, I see you know, for a couple of years back. Mm. My, my mom was Panissa as well. And from oh, then yeah. we got talking. You always show so much love, man. So much love and respect, man. A big bro, Very man. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, brother. Absolutely. Absolutely. Top guy, man. Yeah, wicked, man. Look, this time the food is cut off. Hi, hi. Uh, so... Why is he at that? Why is he? Do you know what I mean? One yeah. hour, man. Yeah, it's just the only thing is that at the moment we're not holding a hammer or a spanner in our hand or anything oh, like that, you know. All I've got mechanical is mechanical objects. I just got Todd, I got Vajja, Tabla, Tumbi. 
But all my, okay. all the tools are in the garage. <laughs> My tool, I don't even have a tool here. Oh. I've only got this life sat next to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's part a, of our that's gear as well. Slide, we have to man. keep that. Oh, yeah, it's a long a one. Big one. I think it's about, it's a big one. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. This, this is actually, uh, what can I say, like... Um, that's your weapon. A last actually. minute. It's, it's basically a last minute dot com slide. So if my mini one gets lost somewhere... you got this large... At least I've got this as a backup. Up. Right? <laughs> that's not going to go nowhere, right? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They are backups, man. Especially when you're around yeah. things, man. They'll be taking your slides, man. Without you know. I mean? Oh yeah, without I've hesitation. had it. I've had it. I I remember uh, actually. Uh, uh, it was actually down in Birmingham. I went to this wedding, right, on the reception. We got up everyone. The random people. Yeah, I I live a full couple, but they are twenty, right? So I would bump into random people. Oh, but he to sing a today. I said, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, I mean, I am from here. Um, I don't like here. Every I would I must say on that reception, I must have had like at least twenty to thirty people asking me to come like here, and they would actually just faff around with it. Uh, uh, thank you, buddy. Right, <laughs> bike ride. So it's the strangest moment of my bro, life there as well. Now you got to make yeah. sure you got sanitizer, bro. You ain't giving that to no one. Oh, you know, you know, you know nowadays, I doubt any wedding's gonna happen because the nah, DJ industry's uh, you know messed up completely. It is, man. It's just, uh, it's. I don't know what's gonna happen. When will, if there will be a normality, when it will be? It's, it's, it's tough, man. It's it's tough. They are thirty Absolutely. people or something for weddings. Or oh yeah. When oh yeah. Work, Absolutely. It's crazy. It's, it's a tough. It's a tough situation to be in now because there's a lot of DJs. I mean, who have kind of felt their equipment and you yeah, know because know. they don't even know how it's gonna, how it's gonna work. You know, yeah, yeah, if I know, it's gonna I know go normal or not. Some DJ friends, man. They're just like you know, you've got to get rid of it. It's just sitting there, kind of. I know. Keep fed up. But then he got on and stuff. So yeah. I know a lot of a lot of people have gone to different avenues as well. You know, they've you know they made most of the time during lockdown because you need to be ahead in it. If you you need to need another another trade, man, just just in case. Oh yeah. what's gonna happen? Oh yeah. So nope. yeah, a lot, a lot of changes. We don't know what is gonna happen. We don't know what. I mean, we're hoping fingers crossed. You know, twenty twenty one brings a bit of normality. Yeah, yeah you know, with things. They have been keen on that. We just did. Yeah, around the corner, Christmas, huh? Santa yeah, I think you dressed up as Santa Claus last year, I didn't did, you? I did, I did. I do it yearly, yeah. man. Wow, that's good, though. We'll do a little one. That's good. Marada. Well, yaad ka na jayda, Santa and Kung, you know, uh-huh. Santa, you know, he brings the gifts. Mm-hmm. Well, exactly, well, exactly. Isn't it? Um, but yeah, man, you know, yeah, so... Big up, man. Respects, Jack. Yeah, Free man. time. No, no. Thank you. Thank you. Darshan bro. Over. Camera bro, it's been hey, looking, Darshan over. I got that story for you. Um, story? You can see a funny story. Funny story, funny story. From, story. Uh, from a video shoot. Like, ah, on, yes. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Nah, this is like, going to be the highlight of this conversation. It's not, now. It's not, nah, it's not as funny. It's just uh, something that I, the first thing that I remembered. The UK, the Monday shoot. Um, I was in Birmingham. Hmm. Um, I was in a car park, the DC, and I needed to change now in it for this next uh, next couple on it, next outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. then I was like, I'm a pent up all here, and I was in the I was in the car park, yeah. And then yeah. I was like, Oh, what shirt get here? <laughs> oh, shirt get here? Oh, where is it, man? Nah. I was like, What's happened, yeah. man? And then I was like, I had a look. I took made a mess in the good D, man. And for my mother, cousin, you phone get tagged. He's from he's from uh, Nuneaton, and uh, my like, bro, look, just do me a favor. What are you doing? You're chilling, yeah. You ain't do no work. Yeah. You're all right, yeah. Go yeah. to my house, yeah. I think it's on my bed. Jacket, <laughs> lucky on my shirt, please. And I think uh, I was a kurta uh, top or something, whatever. Anyway, I was yeah. waiting, 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 and he took ages, bro. Yeah. So what are you? Oh God. The old shirt, like any, I think he just got the kurta top in it. I was like, oh no! So no. how was I gonna wear that with a blazer on top? I was like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, bro, yeah, Magia, see Debenhams, yeah. I went to Debenhams. Yeah. And basically, on that point when you're gonna be shooting. Yeah, man, and Debenhams was right oh, there. Oh no! It, like, Yo, just give me like half an hour. My Debenhams got picked up a shirt, but I was looking, 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 sized up, patani and all this, blah blah blah. Went went to the um, 
Uh, went to the change room, and a pussy night. I see, you know, had a blazer on, fog, fog, bun, knee, chitti, and everything. Because you must feel very panicked. The fact that you know you haven't got a shirt to wear, and yeah, you're exactly, looking for it, yeah, and you don't even have the good damn size. That's that, that was my outfit. You know what I mean? I like my, my <laughs> knee like yeah, I see shirt, bro, and that blazer. Oh, and I was like, oh, this is the outfit. I need this. I'll take it out there, and I was like, luckily I, f- I found a different colour shirt in it, but I was like, Chaluta, look, here. Yeah. Sure, I uh, quickly got that, got changed in the changing rooms, come out, yeah, all the saman and that left it in the changing rooms, and yeah, and about about an hour and a half, two hours later, I think, because I was waiting for my cousin first, then we yeah. started again, man, so, yeah, that was... Really how many, good. like, how many hours did you actually take time on trying the shirt on, because it's a matter of that, you're not sure of the size, Bro, right, I because I'm the worst... Not power, yeah. I am you know, the worst, bro. I am. I would. <laughs> when I order kapre, yeah, even if it's online, yeah. I have to have two sizes to order karne karne. Yeah, because Absolutely. I don't know. Yeah, you have to. You have to. Some fits or not. And when I go, if I go shopping, when you used to be able to go shopping, um, <laughs> I, I know some people just pick up and go, man. I'm like, nah, nah. I have to try on. You know what I mean? You have exactly. To go, you know, I, that day, I think I picked about three, three, three shirt style, but the same color. So, okay, oh. so trying them on and yeah, man. So yeah. rushing in and all that, man. Trust so me. So basically, man. the shirt you wore in the video actually fitted you very well then, eventually. Very, so very button, well. button, yeah. going to total. It, that was, nah, nah. it wasn't ironed, but the blazer covered that. Wow. Sad to see. And it was a great, great shirt. I kept that one. <laughs> great shirt. <laughs> So yeah, that happened. Oh man! So that well, that was a kind of a, a moment that where a moment. it came a bit of you know that was a moment that I was remember yeah, man. Like, moment because I, I I know like I have a lot of I remember the other one when I had a uh, uh, happy shoot in Southampton. Yeah. So, see, all Dordan, we had two day shoot. We had a, one song, the Hangover one in, in Coventry, and then the Sunday mm. we went to uh, uh, drove to Southampton. All there. You know, get, going that far and uh, making sure you've got everything is like, you know, you yeah. imagine forgetting something, innit? And this, that, yeah. But Absolutely. I was all right. Yeah, yeah. I had extra stuff. Um, but yeah, it was a great experience as well. That was my traveling in the morning, shooting there on summer's day. Great, yeah. shoot, great, great views, man, there. And yeah, wow. so that, that was all right. That, that was a better one. So, Teek Sigar. That's the interesting thing, you know, that, like you mentioned about views here, you yeah. know. The interesting thing, uh, you know, I always uh, look out for your videos is that you get very interesting shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The places you shoot at, like, for example, the track Bale Bale as well, you've got yeah. shots in there. Yeah. You know, um, even aerial view shots in HKD as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Oh, that was uh, oh, quite interesting. Yeah, sorry, man. Oh, sorry, I keep cutting you off on that, innit? I keep remembering. But so. they they talk, to see me you know, in excitement for that. Yeah, you, bro, you've got a lot of things to talk about, man. I know, my bro. It's all right. My game's at seven, so it's all good. Um... They all we were meant to do. A, uh, we wanted to do it. We really we loved that song that we did. Bali Bali. Yeah? We were proper like it like was career properly because we fought a lot of it in it. And, yeah. And we had a guy coming from uh, India. He was meant to come down to uh, shoot the video. But mm. like, oh, ho gaya si sarak nada and all this and and that lockdown. And then I was saying, um, and then I was like, should we just meet up? And then it was like it weren't going to happen properly. So we just sent a message out, you know, we can not bangra dancers or whatnot. Um, just shoot a little video of yourself. We'll do a little something, something visually in it to, um, for the song. And, um, oh, yeah. yeah. And I, I got, yeah, we've got that done a little last minute thing to do for that. So at least it's something for viewers to watch, man. So That's nice. Good, man. Nice. Good. You know, it, 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 interesting. I mean, the, like your videos, I mean, it's not the typical stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It shows a bit of the, ongoing kind of thing like you know even yeah, you, you, and, you know yeah even now like I got this new song and it's um looking for what what I don't tend to like like we need to have everything all in one video you know what I mean just hmm. it, it could just nice yeah or tell we utilize try and utilize that in it because yeah, Lumba, it gets along. You know, it's not it's not cheap shooting videos and stuff, man. You know, people have to people Absolutely. have to think of that naturally. You know what I mean? So no, the yeah. best way, you know, I try and try to be as creative in what we can do or what we find. You know what I mean? Like the the shoot for the HKD, the second version. Yeah. Um, you know, it's nice. Absolutely, that's nice, man. And Lovely boy, location. My boys there, they, these boys, we, we, we used to go cycling around there anyway. The mass horse, that's it. Let's just do what we do one day. Let me shoot the video. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. just, we're just chilling what we would hang out, hang about, what we would do, how we do it day to day. 
his summer cigar, you know, we'd chill out and that was a vibe for that. And yeah. it, was just, it was one location and it was just a wicked, wicked view from that. It was amazing. Amazing. Fantastic. Fantastic. No, I love the video. Yeah. It, it just shows a bit of the out and about chilling yeah. with your friends. That's it, bitch, bitch, bitch. That's it. That, you know, that's the, 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 the stuff as well. Yeah. yeah good idea there. Uh, good idea. Up, so I'm hoping, that, man. Reg, yeah. you know, I hope the very best because uh, I'm looking forward for your next projects, man. You know, the, so yeah, many tracks you've done so far, you know, Ectoblad, Ecto, they've been very interesting. I yeah, mean, this year, quite has... interesting in this duet track now. Yeah, that, um, you know, I'm I'm really excited for that as well. I think I do want to get, uh, hopefully try and get a video for it. It'll be next year time, um, hopefully. Mm. But it's been like, it's been ready, man. It's ready anyway. Master, August, guess, Harakos, Tearia. It's just, um, Fantastic. let things get better and see if we can uh, shoot a video of the, of, uh, to match the song and how we want it then that would be, you know, next year's definitely. And this year, I'm hopefully, by December, I'm trying to get one more out before the end of the year. Yeah, that's Fantastic. totally, totally different. Totally different music, man. Totally. So Looking forward, man. Looking yeah, forward. Trying, Especially trying. Uh, if you actually feature in uh, that track with your Santa suit. That would be fantastic. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah, you could wear your Santa suit. and Boy, you know? Arthur, bro. Arthur, I like that, man. <laughs> they, they different are. vibe different style exactly. you know I'm open yeah, white style, bro. yeah like the white 50 lal bars from Larry proper you know can't go wrong I'll have to bring you down now. you need to have to be in it with me yeah <laughs> 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 that'll be interesting though that'll uh, be a, an experience for me as well yeah, you know exactly exactly <laughs> Oh god, but yeah, man, Kuliang Allah, yeah, big respects, man, for your time. I want to tell you that, and man, yeah. uh, I'm hoping the very best for your career. Thank so you that very, very much, stuff. yeah, man. Hopefully, if things get sorted, uh, ke, ke te, tade, personally, tade studio je, aake, si tade, aye, aye, 100%, uh, you know, like bro. a proper paparazzi, I'll you know, I'll drive you from Morrison's aye, aye, or aye. some shopping store, right? Like a paparazzi and reach your home with a microphone. Yeah, we'll go to Standard Sweet Center first. Metal, yeah. Metal, oh, metal, yeah, metal, metal, metal. 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 oh, yeah, definitely. Metal. Metal. Oh, yeah, proper. Jaal tha, deval ho ye. Jarur, jarur, bro. Yeah, yeah. Down there, <laughs> okay, take you for a mixed grill as well. We'll add it in. That's it. That's it. Only one. Yeah. Yeah. That would be interesting, though. That would be, yeah. yeah. be interesting to do that. You yeah, know. Yeah, that would be good, man. Spending a whole, spending the whole day with Jack Bunsell. Right, How did you spend his time? Any you time. Any time. You're just gonna have to put up with this one. All right. Oh That's yeah. It was the jewel. See, it was like a jam and a mutai color. Respect to everyone who been watching us as well yeah, from the man. start. They got palmy, man. Yes. yes. You know? in your... Hey, Jack, you need to have uh, Roman in your next video. What are you saying, bro? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just spoke about it as well. Yeah. Nay, Matt, Tom, we do see a nice Palmy Penixes in it as well. Yeah, that's the, that's the condition, condition tum, now. Tum be like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the condition. It has to be all the, you know, the boys in there, right? Yeah, man. Davinda J music, that's up, man. So, oh, yes. Davinda J. You know, I'm going to get the EFT about my shirt. Handy, uh, yeah, your shirt point. is great, by the way. No, they call you. Pick a flavor, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh. yeah. oh. That's where I'm going from. Yeah, look at it. I mean, it's got uh, cherry on top. That's the uh, best yeah. bit, you know. <laughs> you can't go wrong with the cherries, man. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. But yeah, man, big up. Te chakki jau fatte. And uh, yeah, man, kichi jau kam. No, no, thank you, man. You keep doing this stuff, man. I've, I've enjoyed it, man. Like I said, I watched the Shinda, the Oman Hayes, and it's really good, man. It's, it's a different way, like, the first time. I like, like uh, Insta Live, sorry. Um, it's it's you know, good, they, man. It's, they could eat. These days, artists are going live and just causing a controversy. Yeah, yeah. But a one to one conversation, the labata, you it. know, it gets everyone else involved, you yeah, know, at the same you know, time. You, you know, know what, bro? That's what it is. It's just, just it's galabat, isn't it? It's just having a, having a friendly conversation more than Absolutely. anything, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And it, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 I think it's more natural than going, you know, going radios. I'm not saying it's. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just sometimes you're more, you're at home now. I'm just like, literally, this is me. 
You know, this is literally yeah. like me. This is me. It's a new That's life it. every day. You know what I mean? Probably wouldn't have the cap yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Just like ball out and that. But this is me. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah, casual. Love it. Like completely. Like yeah. Proper relaxed at home, man. I'm like, I need to yeah. just relax with my t-shirt, all the shorts, whatever. Hair out, man. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, no, they don't want to know. No, no, that's it. They don't want to know. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes what it is, the banda freely banda up the car, check, 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 well, I've been, you know, uh, those who are following you, uh, even myself, bro. I mean, I have been checking out your stories. Yeah. I mean, you're always Kushna 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 Bro, when lockdown happened, I mean, in our times, you know, bro, yeah, I was like, yo, I got a, I like, I like cooking and that, innit? But I took it further in the sense, I started experimenting then. So now I started yeah. experimenting and see, like, what flavors fit and what, what, did the, how can I, how can I make it my own kind of thing, innit? So during the lockdown, bro, I did a loads of like mainly meat, more to get done it, chicken and stuff, and yeah, like, yeah, marinades yeah. and stuff, and a lot of barbecues, bro. So for that, I was doing marinades and trying things out for that. So yeah, from there, man, I just like carried on. So on weekly basis, go snag, go snag, go meat, more banana, chicken or something. Balde, balde. Like chicken curry or a, a dry, dry chicken roast or something. Go snag, go snag, tandoori chicken or anything, man. Master Chef, Mr. Bansal, I mean, yeah, 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 you know, I think one of the viewers, uh, Amrita Koz, uh, noticed something. I mean, now they've been very noticing things, right? They found that a lion sat on your speaker behind you, right? That was because I was like this, wasn't it? I suddenly popped up. Wow. Yeah, man. Yo, that is a sick mug, man. It is, man. It's pretty cool. I think I got this, this from the zoo so... or something. I, I was going to say, it looks very Kenyan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a zoo from here, the wow. UK. <laughs> it's all right, wow, that is a I never mug, use man. it, but... <laughs> I know. That is a good mug. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. I haven't isn't seen it? a mug like that before, man. Oh, I, no. Different I remember when I was a kid, though. I remember when I was a kid, though. You know the, the <laughs> Easter eggs? Right? Yeah, yeah. I remember getting a cup that was, had a monkey face on it. It was a purple one, right? I used to be so chuffed having coffee in that. Like, yeah, yeah. You can, you know, kids, you know, they enjoy many yeah, things. That one <laughs> mug made me happy, right? It had a monkey on it. It was an interesting uh, piece of kit, right? Yeah. In a box with a mug mm-hmm. with an Easter egg on it. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Any but, yeah, that's is amazing, isn't it? Well, that's it. Even, yeah, I mean, even, I even back in the days, the cereal boxes. Yeah, I used to get gifts in there. Cereal box? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we're not bothered about the cereal. We nah, want to see nah, the nah. gift in there. We don't need to eat. <laughs> 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 oh, man. But yeah, man. Big up. Big but up, yeah, man. Man. yeah, we have to have a bit of laughter. Bro, so, it's like, it's like, yeah, bro. This is... Uh... Being being us is the best is the best in it. Got the thing, yeah. That's all you can ask. I'm sure that's what everyone else would want to hear and see as well. So yeah, of course, man. It, it, it. Either, man. What are you? Absolutely, man. Big old man respects Jag and uh, hoping you're the very best in the music. Yeah, man. Thank and, you, bro. Uh, yeah. day when things go normal, we'll fly down to Coventry. Yeah, yeah, bro. Uh, you there as well, man. We'll go there, plan, man. Definitely. And uh, Defo. thanks to you, man. Thanks for this platform. Um, thanks for. You know, thanks to everyone that's had a little, whether you viewed it for the whole thing or had a couple of minutes or whatnot, man. So Absolutely. anything is uh, is appreciated, man. And, you know, you got to know, yeah, know, know a little about me and my music and what I do. And, and so it's great, man. Thanks for tuning in. I hope it was all good, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. I swear, man. I so it was all right. No? God, oh, well, know. yeah, it was all... It was all Clean. filtered automatically. Yeah. <laughs> it was all censored anyway. So, yeah, man, so big up to all of you who've been watching us. Yeah. It's always a pleasure, you guys watching us. I know Horn Slam Milda, right? We've got you guys, Dalni Bandi. Yeah. So, yeah, man, so big up, and hopefully next week we're going to have another guest. Yeah. Let me ask uh, you one question next... before you go. Andy, that's what, that's what. Who's, but the, sure, but who's, sure. who's the one person you want to interview? Today, if you're thinking today, today, if you're thinking if I today, wanted to, yeah, on Instagram, Hundreds. um, do you know it's a tricky one? There's so many, but I've always wanted, 
Um, I would say Hans Raj, Hans. Oh, hey, wow, stud, bro. What a, what a singer. I think Hans Raj, Hans, uh, I would uh, be interested to interview him. Bro. You know, because that guy, that he started from his career to now. Huh. Yeah, the band is crazy. Bro, I remember when his song came out, Dil Chori Sadda Ho Gaya Ki Kari Ki. Oh, yeah. But I was oh. young then. I didn't, I didn't know who, what not. But I, I liked the song. And or, I think the similar time, or, or I just got the tape at the same time, Har Bajan Man's Oi Hoi was out. Or, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Those two songs, but I, I don't know how old I was, but I was young, yeah. And I loved it. And Hans Raj Hans, his voice, bro, is next you level. You know, he's his next level voice. Effortless, bro. I've right. seen, seen him live in Birmingham. But then yeah. Two, two, years, two, two years, I think it was, he came down Birmingham. And... I've never been to a Jeddah uh, like a or whatever you a uh, relaxed mahal and sitting down with a, yeah, with a yeah, singer yeah. like that. I've never been to something like that. Absolutely. Yeah, and, yeah. and I went, bro, and you like appre- appreciating that music, the the feel your your body got just sit down the vodja just and whatever, oh, yeah. you know he does his head shake and that and it's like oh you know, that head shake yeah, is and, iconic, man. Valia, you always look Valia, forward to see that. And yeah, it, oh, mate. and uh, his voice, well, I've always rate, rated it like the top tier man, him, Sadu, Sakan, oh, yeah. man, just like, oh, yeah, you know, absolutely. Another level, he's, he's so mid-tie his voice, I'm sorry, amazing, bro. Like, I had the best, even till now, experience. even till now, even you know, now. even till now, his voice hasn't changed. Nah, or did you get see one of the, uh, the Coke Studio one? With the, was it with his son? Oh, yeah, bro. oh man, me and my boys Magic. Uh, rinsed that song. As we were getting together and that, whatever, that was our song. Pure man. magic. Tom, that was pure team. magic. I mean, live. You know, that, that whole vibe in that track from start oh, to end. It's like, gosh. man, what was that? What he can do. It, it gives you goosebumps. It does yeah. give you goosebumps. Straight away. Straight away. Yeah. Straight away. The things he can do with his gullah, bro. Just, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy, man. It's not doable, man. It's That's some, sometimes it's not oh, doable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cold My style, God. go on. Oh, Ballet, 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 Cold Star, man. You know, Cold Star. Yeah, sick guy, man. Yeah, yeah. He's one person, you know, so I'll be at him. He's not very humorous. Very humorous kind of. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, The what? The what shop? The tile shop. The t- tile? tile shop. Tile, tile, tile shop. Now when you go straight over Fraser Road, right inside, we say top tiles or something. Handy, handy, handy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. I remember that because we got lost there. You see, <laughs> <laughs> we got actually lost there. <laughs> you know. Oh, we, yeah, we actually took the wrong turn there last time we went to Coventry, and we were like tell explaining double tile they call us. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, cold start to well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's great. Yeah, cold star man, big up, big up, big cold up, star. Man. I'm looking for. Well, I mean, we're looking forward to his music. Like you know, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, man. Looking forward Only to his guy on the gala gada. चक्की जाओ फटे हां जी सो so, अच्छा हुन सानू डिसाइड करना पेना के क्रॉस बटन केने प्रेस करना मैं करा या तुसी करना सी है ना दिस इज दिस इज सिचुएशन टू फ्लिप अ कॉइन नाउ यू नो एक दो तीन करके हां एक दो तीन करके अच्छा सारे नु सस्री या काल बिल्कुल जी धन्यवाद ऑल ऑफ यू सस्ती काल मॉन रिस्पेक्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू डोस हु वॉच दिस दे अच्छा मानस साहब मैं करा या तुसी पता नहीं हूं मैं आप ही जगाड़ ला रहा हूं पहली बार किताब है मेनू पता नहीं
ਅੱਛਾ ਸੋ ਵਾਟ ਯੂ ਡੂ ਇਜ਼ ਆਪਣੇ ਸ਼ੋਬ ਹੱਥਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਉਂਗਲੀ ਕਰਕੇ ਔਰ ਦ ਕ੍ਰਾਸ ਕ੍ਰਾਸ ਦਾ ਉਹ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਟੂ ਕ੍ਰਾਸਸ ਬ੍ਰੋ ਥੈਟਸ ਯੋਰ ਕ੍ਰਾਸ ਐਂਡ ਦਾ ਮਾਈ ਕ੍ਰਾਸ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਕਨਫਿਊਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਅੱਛਾ ਇਫ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਕ੍ਰਾਸ ਆ ਫੇਰ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਕਲਿਕ ਔਨ ਯੋਰ ਵਨ ਦੈਟ ਚਲ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਫੇਰ ਯਾ ਸੋ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟਸ ਮਨ ਸੋ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਮਨ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟਸ ਮਨ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟਸ ਚੱਕੀ ਚਾਲ ਫਟੇ ਸ